Hey guys, Dustin here, and you gotta see this to believe it. Check this out. Stop thinking weird stuff. No, the belt. Isn't that cool? So guys, true story. I'm at SHOT Show 2019, and I'm walking around the show floor, and my pants are falling down because my belt failed. And so I was wearing this 5'11 belt like this, and they call it a gun belt, but really we're gonna get to something that's even more effective and rigid and reinforced than this. But my bu buckle was actually just, see how it's sliding like that? Okay, not cool. Now I know, like you know what, everybody needs a tactical belt with a D-ring like that. I do, because I work the camp zip line and I will hook up to this at times. Anyway, <laughs> that would have been catastrophic with the sliding like that. So I started looking around everywhere and, to find something that was good, but I was picky because you want something that's rigid and supportive and has that, sh that shape to keep your gun up. Otherwise your holsters are gonna fall and slop to the side. But I was being picky too because all the belts that I was seeing was just like a dress belt that was a little thicker but it still had those holes and you know the the buckle that you know the like 500 year old technology where you put the hole in the buckle and the in the belt and you have one inch increments. So I was like I'm picky and I want something that adjusts exactly to my body size for that day because if I put a different holster in and a different uh, a thicker handgun or a smaller compact it's going to adjust and I want it to be comfortable. I found core belts and so as soon as I got back I ordered it and so well shoot I just I got to take it off don't I? I got to take it off to show you there's forward thinking so I got to start taking my kit off and there we go. Now the cool thing about core belts here my pants are gonna fall down. That's out of frame, it's cool. But it, it, it's this, it's this track line thing. If you've, you've used a zip tie before, you know how this belt works because you just insert it into the buckle and listen, you'll hear it. That's right. Now you can make it quiet if you want to by holding the release, okay? But it will, in, you have incremental adjustments to about a quarter inch there. So it's like, 40 or something, uh, 40 notches on every belt that you can adjust to exactly the size you need and instantly you eat too much at the buffet, you just pop the button a little and then you're back to, you know, comfortable again. And so this fit the bill, but so I, I ordered it as soon as I got back and I've been wearing this one for, it's April, so about three months now and, uh, and <laughs> it looks as good as new. And so then uh, the only wear I see is, is the back here so that's dead behind, you know, where, where your body kind of bends. Okay, so every belt looks like that. And so that's, that's, that's the only thing that started. There may be a few teeny, teeny, tiny scratches on the buckle, but that's it. Everything else is, is, is holding up well, and I'm in love with it. And so I was happy when the course sent me these other two samples so I can show them to you as well. And we can talk about it. When it comes out of the box, you're going to have, uh, I think they come up to like 54 inches. And this is one of the big boy ones. And so this is one of their tan or brown tactical ones and I like these because they're a little more rigid than the leather the leather option is like this and it looks just like a dress belt and it's just a little more rigid now you have seen how rigid that is right because it's got some patented core inside that keeps it, it keeps it straight and that's what's important when you have a gun on that 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 belt where's that crappy strap so you know you put a holster on this <laughs> Okay, I don't have to go any further. But when you put, let's just put my, my PPS right here on that belt, and there you go. Okay, so that's what it's doing on your body, is it's gonna hold it perfectly straight and secure. You don't have to constantly readjust. It's not gonna sag, and you're gonna have to lift it up and then retighten and everything else again. It's just good to go. Now, when you get it, you're gonna have to size it to yourself, which is also a cool part, though, because you get to custom size it, and you just you say, yeah, I'm within the 25 to 54 inch uh, waist range, and you get it. Um, what is this? So this is, so you see inside, it's got all the measurements already. So by the instructions, you're supposed to pick, okay, so if I'm like a 32 inch waist, you, t you do that, add four inches. So we're gonna go 36 here and here we go. Take some sharp scissors. So I got these Harbor Freight EMT shears that, okay, they're kind of crappy. All right, so if you see on the inside there, we can see that's what the inside of the belt looks like. And I'm gonna straighten that up. And we'll get one of the more, uh, well, shoot, I like this buckle here because this buckle lo looks like a normal belt, so you won't stand out any if that's what you're going for. So you just take it and you insert it in. You see the teeth right there, insert the belt in, and then you can test it out. And then once you know that you like what you have, there's two set screws, you, you cinch them down and you're good to go. So you're wrapping this around you. It's, it's gonna be just like so, and it locks in place, and then you're good. This one's 
Okay, I thought it was quieter, but I think I was dampening the harmonics there. Uh, now, this one looks like it's popping up a little. Mine doesn't do that anymore because I guess I've worn it enough, but they send some little keepers. And so if you want to put that keeper on, I think I wore it like the first day I had it. But otherwise, on my pants, the, I got a belt loop and it sticks right in there and it's all good. And so, well, let's just don this thing real quick and then we'll throw a couple of different holsters on and see how that works on everything. Bitch is on, and then those belts are so thick is so and, and rigid. You want to. I found that I like to put it in the loop before I tighten it up because after it's, it's uh, yeah, this is sticking out. So I would take this out off again and cut two more inches off of it just so, uh, so, so it gets to where I like it and you know, so it's a better fit for my pants. Stick that on there, but a bing, but a boom. All right, so there's my Walther PPS in there. I mean. I've, I've been wearing it for months, guys, and it just stays put. And if you just want to cinch it up a little, I mean, you, you don't even have to touch, like, your belt buckle part. You could just... Okay, I got to get a little closer. You just push, and then to relief, just click. And it's that quick, that easy. I love it. And so I figured y'all need to know about it because if you're still wearing just a regular belt, come on, guys, get with the program. So these things start at what? 60 bucks for the uh, for the gun belts, and then they have some fashion ones that, if you just want a regular belt and you don't carry the weight of a gun, you can do that. And they're like, start at 50 bucks. If you want to switch out buckles and belts and all that stuff, you can do that, because then it'd be like $30 buckle, $30 belt. You can mix and match and play around with that however you wish as well. Oh yeah, and then this is cool. This is their hanger. Because it's such a reinforced belt, <laughs> you know, you're gonna have a hard time if you just try to throw this over anything. So they make a closet hanger, you just cinch it up on it, and that's awesome too. It's just nice, slick, and secure. And then when you're ready to have it, you just, you know, push, push your release just the same. All right, so this is my Walther PPS, and it's good to go there. And this is another thing like, okay, say I'm going into a post office and I gotta take my gun off. I take my holster off as well because I don't want uh, I don't want to be drawing a gun even inside the car. I want to keep that trigger guard all enclosed so there's no accidents there. And so I just pop my whole holster off. Oh, now my belt's like two inches loose. Not no more. All right, you got the idea. H and K VP9, same thing with in, uh, inside the waistband holster. Heck, I don't even know who makes this. When you Kydex guys make holsters, you gotta put your brand on them. All right, so there. That quick, that easy, cinches up, it's, it's all good. Now I don't appendix carry too much, but like with any other belt, you can just bump the buckle off to the side a little bit and give you plenty of room to be able to holster up there. This is the Q series holster, which is real minimalist and it's great for stuff like this G19 with a suppressor, that's right. Yeah, buddy. Oh, that's hot, that's hot. Yeah, I know, you're jealous of my uh, big old uh, holster okay i don't wear it too often but th look that that's cool that's cool suppressed and lit up so i could actually use this belt at a three gun match and put all my gear on it so it makes me wonder let's put some gear on it and give it a torture test all right so talking about how much we carry made me wonder yes i'm totally taking my pants off right now because i can because wait you kind of can see me i have underwear on it's cool makes me wonder how much weight I carry every day. So, I use carry radio as well. So, multi-tool, Walther, knife, Elzetta flashlight, all that jazz. Oh, shoot! I carry six pounds on a normal day. Man, I'm glad I got the heavier belt. Check out what you wear. What's your EDC way? Leave it in the comments. Don't take your pants off in front of everybody. All right, so for torture test time, I've got all my four guns out there on. The FNX, I got a Glock 19 with the suppressor. I know what you're thinking. HK VP9 and my Walther PPS. And we are just fine. I'm glad I left it a little long. <laughs> And I don't really feel like I even need to adjust it afterwards. Good stuff. All right, we're gonna torture test this thing. And so I am rigging myself up on the zip line and I realized even though we bounced on the trampoline earlier, I did not uh, put the Allen screws in the belt. And so it was holding just on the teeth. So here's what we're doing. I'm gonna go down the zip line with the Core Central's belt and we're gonna see uh, if it holds up to my, what am I, 170? 
I took my gun off, so we're a little lighter today, and uh, see if it can take that. Now I have backup of the harness on, so I don't die today, because my wife doesn't like it when I die. Okay, so here's the deal. All that's holding the belt together is those teeth, but they cam in, and so the belt is gonna be holding it very nice and snug because it would have to rip or break the teeth out. There's too much material in that belt. Those teeth look too strong. I don't think they're gonna break or fall out, and then we're gonna put those hex, hex head screws in to have the added durability. Okay, then on the other side though, you know you have that track line. Now, it, more tension on that track line will make this get snugger, and this does not look weak at all either. So I'm thinking maybe the weak point could be these pivot pins, if it's weak at all. That's what we're here to try out. And this is what happens when you give me free stuff, because when I don't have anything invested in it, I'm like, meh. We can see if uh, I can fall down a zip line. All right, so I'm gonna snug these bad boys up. Give it just a little extra strength because I am totally abusing this. Okay. All right, so here's what's gonna go on. I have Core Central's gun belt right there. And I've got lobster claw. So these lobster claw, the shorter one, is going on my gun belt to make sure it holds me up. This is the Dustin Don't Die Today backup harness. So when I sit, so far so good. The harness one's just in case something breaks because don't try this at home. All right, we're all ready. We're going about 100 yards down that way. I am not going to be gentle on this. I am going to jump on this and give it my full strength, my full weight. And I'm going to sing the James Bond theme song as I go, because that's how I roll. Three, two, one. Da -da 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 yeah! <laughs> I wonder if I can bungee on it. It kind of hurts just on a belt though. Okay, full weight, full weight. Oh, oh there it went. Okay, we found the breaking point. <laughs> Give me down! <laughs> okay. Yeah. Okay, I'm working. So, I was going over so much of the belt buckle what might break, I forgot to look at the belt and show you that. And that's what failed. So the belt buckle looks brand spanking new. Well, in fact, I can take this one here and we just put it together right there. And it's still good to go. And so the, the belt itself, the belt buckle, I could get another $30 belt and just match it up together because I'm kind of sad. I did I did like this part. But you can see that that indention, that's where the carabiner was riding. And it ran the zip line part ran fine. It was the me bouncing violently at the end just because I wanted to. Uh, that's what shredded the track. So I had I had all these little pieces of uh, of shredded track in my shirt there. And so that's what happened, that's what failed. So we exceeded the eight pound weight limit, load limit by a good bit. I think the, the, uh, the material itself, I think was rated to 500 pounds. So if you were, you know, attached by more than just a track, but that's what you can expect, and if you're my weight, you could probably go down a zip line just fine in your core belt. Uh, just I wouldn't bungee jump in it because that's what happened there. And so I got a nap in my glasses. Okay, so uh, guys, uh, that's about all there is to it. I'm gonna put the link for the Core Essentials belts in the description box there, so you can find it and you can try it and you can tell me how much you love it because you're not gonna be disappointed because I just like I found exactly what I wanted. So thanks for joining me today, guys, and just stay tuned. We'll do some more crazy stuff, maybe even on the zip line. Later. See ya!